lots of the proteins in a cell are, are functional enzymes. And an enzyme has to help um, speed up a chemical reaction. Many of these chemical reactions are essential for the basics of, basis of life. And for an enzyme to do what it has to do, it has to bind little molecules, small molecules. It has to bind them in just the right way in three-dimensional space, kind of like a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. And the protein, those, those beads on the string that fold up like this origami, are designed to position all of these parts of the protein in three-dimensional space to perfectly wrap around those small molecules and do these chemical reactions. If that doesn't happen, if the protein doesn't get folded up right, you can't do that chemical reaction, and if it's essential, the cell dies. The molecular chaperones that, that my lab is interested in, one of their main roles is preventing that from preventing those protein misfolding events that lead to aggregation and not letting that happen, trying to keep the cell from getting poisoned by badly folded or aggregated proteins. So that's sort of the core of this, this paper, is trying to understand the series of steps that let this chaperone sort of enclose, engulf this protein, and then initiate a, a protein folding reaction to get the, kick the protein off and get it, get it folded. So the solution to that was to use a, a structural method known as cryo-electron microscopy. You then basically put it in a very big, very nice electron microscope, and you take a whole lot of pictures of these um, little complexes at um, a very high resolution. You take thousands or tens of thousands, or in our case, hundreds of thousands of these little particles, and using some, some very sophisticated um, image processing and analysis, you can reconstruct from these two-dimensional flat images a three-dimensional model of what that that complex looks like. The first thing we saw was a, a, non, a large amount of a non-native uh, unfolded protein inside this cavity. Even though we knew from lots of other studies that it had to go in there, nobody had ever seen it before. This was the first time we'd seen a, really an image of a non-native protein in the cavity and could see where it was. We could also see that non-native protein interacting with parts of the box that nobody had ever seen before that explained how you got the protein on and then got the lid on without losing hold of either one. And that was a really big mystery. And that was one of the things we really wanted to address. And so one of the things we love to try and, and understand, and this is just a step in that direction, is how to modulate these molecular chaperone systems to prevent diseases like Alzheimer's disease.